Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today we're gonna talk about different scenario of different shape of the prong tip and how to cap them. Are you ready? Let's get started. In some scenario, we are okay with the flat cap, but in some scenario, we do like to have a little bit bump and able to control the bump. And in also some scenario that we have like an irregular shape uh, to cap the surface. So I would like to showcase a different type of a scenario. So that's starting from the scratch. That's starting from the top view and we just want to draw a circle right here and for whatever size. In order to create it, the surface, we're going to come into the surface, we can extrude it straight, right? So we can, we can get this type of things, right? A uh, few things that you can cap it. Imagine Imagine if this is the prong that you have on the top, you want to have something nice. So first things that you can do is you can use the cap command, right? But cap command has to be, this is important, has to be flat, which is has to be on the planar, which means on the front view, it has to be flat, right? If the surface is not flat, cap is not working. So command cap only work on the flat surface. The other things what you can do is maybe you can fit the edges. For example, let's say in this case, I wanted to have five and I can fit the edges and I'll get something like semi rounded. If that were for you, that would be fine. So I'm going to move this on the side just for the comparison. Another things that you can do, uh, again, we want to extrude it. I'm just using the gumball, right? And uh, the command that we can use right here, it's called patch. Right. So for the patch, uh, it will ask you to select the curve and we are going to select right here and then you're going to hit enter and you have something like this. OK, uh, you can preview it and I kind of give you some so sort of like bumpy surface there and then you click OK. And also every time you do in the patch, you will try to think if you can join them. If you can join them, that's fine. If you cannot join them, that's the problem. All right. Another thing that I have questions a lot is my patch is not working. In that scenario is you have the curve already here. You also have your extrusion right there. And when you try to pick up the patch command, and then instead of uh, picking up the extrusion edge, which has the direction, you're picking up this curve. And what happened is if you preview it, it's completely going to be flat. It's because you pick on the curve. It doesn't have a direction like the surface has. And if you again pick up instead of the curve, you pick up extrusion edges, you see this direction showing up, this arrow showing up, right? And then you hit enter and then you can preview it and then you will see this bump. All right. So I got that question a lot, like why mine is not working and that's, that's not the case. Okay. So another things that we can do again, I wanted to extrude this guy. If your prong happened to be the circle, you actually can just using the sphere for diameter. Right. And then you snapping into the quadrant to the quadrant, then you got a really beautiful bump there and you can use this wall right here to trim the sphere inside right and then you can still join them so you will have something really really nice and that is because it is a round prong if it is a square probably it's not gonna work in that way so let me move it on the side now another things that we may have is the surface on the top is not completely flat Right. So something that we can do is I'm going to rebuild this one and I'm going to set it up the point for eight degree for three instead of two. And there's a degree for explain what this degree is. I will put a video on the right side here uh, to show you. It's understand the degree one, two or three is quite important for the modeling. Right. So let's say I'm going to have the surface or something like that. And again, we can have this one to extrude it down. And but how we are going to close the one on the top. If you don't like the bottom to be this shape, uh, one thing you can do is either you can let me make it a bit longer. Let me move this one up a little bit. 
and after we extrude it we can simply just trim it you're gonna go from here to here and then you can have this one to trim the bottom right so the bottom will be flat or you can creating another sphere let me use the circle command and let's go to the zero and we wanted something to be about this size right so another way that you can do it is you can loft from this curve to this curve straight down right so that's another way you can do but disregarding which way that you wanted to do is how we're gonna close the one if the shape is not completely flat so what can we do uh, we are going to draw a dot i'm going to snapping or a point i'm going to snapping into the zero and just want this to bring it up right here for the reference okay and on my front view i'm going to do is creating from the point right here holding my shift coming out twice and then i want to coming out something here my smart track is on so i can go also bring up something like this something like this right and then you can adjust it if you don't like it you want them to be more rounded that you can use something like this right so the way to close the top we can use the command for rail revolve this is it's going to be the profile this is going to be the rail and i'm going to snapping right at that end point holding my shift click on either top or the bottom and then i'll get something like this right notice that if we're looking at the where the render is and we can see this kind of pinches it's not too good for the prong unless you want to in fact you want to drill a hole and there will be happen to be the full prong you set a, another little stone in there that might work all right so if that is gonna work for you that'll be fine i'm going to always need to make sure that you are able to join them i'm gonna move this on the side so it's easier for you to understand by comparison all right so now let's go back to the ghost view on this one I do not like in this case to have something caving because I do not want to set a stone in there. What else can I do? Um, we can come back here and I'm going to snapping into this endpoint and coming back something like this, like this, like coming over here and bringing up here and coming down there. All right. So then I do have those here as you can see i have this curve i'm going to have this curve mirror to the other side going something like this and have this curve mirror to the other side going something like this then i want to join those curve and join this and this together all right and then i'm going to split this curve with this curve so i have one two three let me mark them into the red color those are in the same direction they all go it rotate if you rotated this guy they will be the same direction right they all go into the north and the south now the other direction that i have this one this is the other direction all right with this setup we can use the curve network and it is uh, under all you can come in here surface and then you have the curve network all right you want to pick up in the correct direction so i gotta pick up all the red first and i'm going to pick up this one and then we can get this really nice bomb that fitting into all direction that we want and again we have the loft for us to do the loft i forgot that we need to join this first and for the loft command, we're gonna come into the loft and we're gonna pick up the curve and to this curve. All right, always is important, try to join it and see if they can join together. If not, you'll have a hard time to print. One thing that I would like to mention, you might wonder, say, I'm going to use the loft one more time and go from here to here. You might say, why don't you just patch it? and to get the bump and something like I'm going to show you something about the limitation of all the patch. If I have a patch and I'm going to pick up here, I have two choice, curve and poly surface edge. So we need to pick up the poly surface edge. And you notice that the it only pick up these quarter section of the entire things, 
right? And then so that's because underneath it, this curve was a degree two curve. So you can see I have a lot of seam, like one, two, three, four on this surface, right? So if I would like to do loft, another thing that we can also do is to rebuild this one into eight as well, right? So this one is in the degree three and uh, it's in 12 point. And this one, I actually want to build the same point. So that's change it to 12 and degree three. If we loft it from here to here, you're going to notice that, oops, it's tilted. Uh, we're going to loft it again from here to here. And we want to make sure they are aligned. Currently they are not. So I'm going to move it here. Um, so there will be a straight line. Notice that they only have the one seam there, not multiple, right? Because they are not a degree three curve. So if we are using the patch and we can, are able to pick up the whole curve, around this surface. So it's quite important. You need to make sure they are one single surface, right? And I want to hit done and I want to preview it. And it kind of will give you a little bit bump, but slightly wavy. If that worked for you, that would be fine, right? But one thing we need to pay attention is we wanted to know that if this and that are able to join together. So that's using the join and that doesn't let you join. And why is because if we zoom in so much into certain, you're going to see they are double line instead of a one line. So one thing you want to keep in mind, patch works so well on the surface edge that's a clean cut, something like this. But when it comes into the wavy structure and then you try to zoom in, so let me go into set my camera into the target for this point and that's zooming there and you're going to see that there are two surfaces they are not necessary the edge is the same so that's the downside for the patch if it is like kind of a wavy edge it won't get the clean cut like the one that we have there all right so you can use the patch it does has a limitation but i also show you all different kind of a way to making this tip for your prong i hope this helping a lot on your 3d model even though it's like small things but it's a lot of uh, detail in there if you're interested in learning the jury cat step by step from the beginning i do have a course on my website you are more than welcome to check them out and let me know if you have any questions Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.